Hello once again, it's your boy Moon, and last time we did hit Kyber, I'm not really too bothered about. A uh, cool one for, for Leia and Chewbacca, but no portrait and like no title, I'm not going to go chasing that. But I thought that was a pretty cool one anyway. So the pressure's off in this one. We're up against Groot, and he's representing Lords of Doom. Uh, in terms of when I was having a look at his stats here, so some decent stats. Um, not sure if he's ever hit Kyber before. Looks super, super close on the last 3v3. Um, but he's really not far this time. Very good lifetime banners. So, like, um, just having a look here. He's obviously going for a resistance ray. Very close, actually. Probably not that far away. Maybe a couple of weeks Maybe not even, maybe even farming the tickets at the moment. And at 4.9, this is actually a big mismatch because I'm around about 5.5 .5 at the time of lock in. So there's a good five, six hundred GP, um, thousand GP difference here. So very useful roster, lots of useful gear 12s, and then obviously it drops off a little bit. But yeah, lots of high relic characters. First one we did lose against Dorf, as I said in the last one. Shouldn't have lost that one. But we did, so there we go. It is what it is. Um, so having a look at the top here, fairly handy. That resistance squad up top with that Relic 7 scav. Um, oh, yeah, and I'm recording this uh, audio in retrospect, so none of this is live, so I will try and keep up in time. Kind of wanted a bit more of an authentic experience. This turned out into a really, really good match, so didn't want to compromise um, gameplay with... Um, like recording not that it'll make a huge amount of difference but i kind of wanted a bit more of a uh, just to be able to concentrate on the battles as opposed to commentating through them because commentating and doing battles at the same time is pretty hard really like this django zeta since um, since the moment i put it on absolutely love um having that zeta just can skip the taunt completely i'm no longer worried about getting through taunts i can just go straight into wherever i want to go and then so it's incredibly useful again against what tambor teams or if what tambors are with scoundrels or um mission and zalbar and things like that because i can just head straight for whoever i want to go to conflagration will take off i think it's 20 percent health as well so um let me know in the comments anyway what it does but yeah it definitely reduces the max health pool so that's a nice ability as well I absolutely love Django Fett as a character. At the start of the 3v3s, I was actually soloing teams with this character. It's so good. But as time has gone on, we've had let we've had much better defenses, and uh, yeah, we've had to actually legit use it. So 54 on that one. This one, uh, no, I know roughly what I want to do with this front wall. Uh, I'm going to try and keep nice high banners with it. So I go for Basti, Wampa, and Hermit. And again, I really like this one in terms of the extra. Uh, it, it will go through with um, with Plague. But we're able to deal. Obviously, I want to go straight in for Mother Talzin. She's a source of damage there. Okay, so we've dealt with that. She will come back to assist on um, basics, if I remember right. We can get through that there. Put a big heal up as well. Don't want to lose those banners to Plague. Nice, got rid of Tal's in. There we go, so 15, uh, sorry, Talia, so 53 on that one. Now this one, uh, I knew what I wanted to do. I just, I was trying to get away with not doing it. Really like that leadership, 6% defense, offense, and potency. That's really nice, actually. 6% defense uh, on Holdo is going to be, it's got a bunker buster ability as well, so it's got an AOE. There's not a huge amount that I can get away with good banners here. Um... And I don't want to use something like Padme at the moment. So Resistance Trooper has got a good whack of offense on him as well. Uh, on physical damage over 6,000. All the exposes on that team as well, if they get going, it's rough. So I do a quick check um, of what's up top again. And then go back to this one. Making that decision sort of final. That I do want to use the Rebels with it this is more for controlling the turn meter and just getting out there quick and a, a nice big amount of dps so stunned straight away at finn i don't want him healing i don't want him taunting i don't want him doing anything 
So control the turn meter there and then go for the stand with resistance trooper. Now I can work back over on Finn. This is taking longer than I expected. I, for, I, I didn't realize how beefy they were, but my hits aren't doing anything. They're doing like around about half the damage that they usually do, like 8,000 on a crit. 11,000 on a crit this this is this leadership will unless you take in something really hard hitting you really are going to trip up on this so manage to avoid a, a trip up on that first one so at the back here we've got a nice malik and uh, palpatine team bounty hunters i'm not too worried about at this stage phoenix again they're gear 12 but that droidica team along with Geo Brood Alpha and some fac. Each I'm gonna to have to hard counter that. I, I I definitely don't want to get caught behind that. Up top again, I'm just admiring that seven relic uh scav ray. But against Vader, so these dot teams can be horrendous for banners. I could do it with two, but I did want to take in First Order Officer just because of I kind of wanted to try and um control turn meter a little better. But I genuinely think that the two Kylos could um, walk this for full banners. I've never tried this before, so I did want to take in a little bit of backup with First Order Officer. But as I said, on retrospect, I should have just gone in with the two Kylos. And I think I tried for a stun here. I was just trying to work out whether I wanted turn meter or not. I was so far away from turn meter, I thought, right, well, okay, I'll go for the stun. But he's got a decent amount of tenacity on that Zalba. Now I can go for turn meter. Uh, nothing I can really do there except skip, uh, try and get some turn meter off him and gain some turn meter myself. So now I'm in a pretty good spot. A uh, bit of double damage here. Nice. That That really does a huge amount of work. Again, First Order Officer loses a banner there. So, as I said, I've never used it before. Nice big damage off Kylo, OG Kylo, you know. But as I said, kind of like last one, didn't want to lose a silly battle, but um, but yeah, two would have been absolutely fine here. Didn't take a huge amount of risks in this, um, in this first part. For some reason, I thought that my defense would get at least like one hold, so I thought... Well, all I need to do really is um, is like just play it safe. Again, he's got his stacking defense here, but that's a nice big hit. Double damage from stun as well on uh, Kylo Ren and Mast. I'm actually really enjoying First Order. I know I've said it quite a lot, but um, but yeah, really enjoy it. And I think I pause here, have a quick look at the Grievous. It's Relic 1, but still a decent, decent health pool on it. And I'm sitting in sort of a fairly good spot here. Good banners uh, all around. So, yeah, pretty happy. And then I think I pause here just to come back. And Groot had done really well, actually. They'd gone in, cleared this, but they were probably about 10 banners down after clearing that first one. They gained quite a few banners back up here. And then they were pretty efficient down here. I know that's a fairly weak defense. But I do tend to like keeping plenty for offense. He's now super, super close to Kyber, 200 away. So he just needs to clear one more territory. I had no doubt in my mind that he was going to clear. So a little bit surprised that he'd been so efficient. So I had to be a little bit careful. So this one now, I've done this all the way through 3v3. I've seen a lot of these against Palpatine. So took in the old faithful. And these, I've never seen these go south, uh, certainly in my uh, in my experience of doing it, actually. But this was kind of pretty interesting. And I'll explain why in a bit. So I don't want to do AoEs here at the moment. And I have put a potency cross now on Yoda because that didn't strip any turn meter. But yeah, kind of, I mean, Yoda does enough damage uh, quite naturally anyway, I think. So I've kind of, I think potency is probably more, uh, in terms of facing Grievous and in terms of facing squads like these, I, I actually, uh, fear out there isn't nice. So ideally I'd got rid of it. I'm now stuck behind. I couldn't remember whether I could dispel fear, but it's got that padlock on it. So I should have known better, but it's only when you get hit, do you, uh, dispel fear. So now Bassashan has made a, a decent little recovery there. 
So I'll try for a big shot. Got a stun there. Nice. And I definitely just want to finish her off. There we go. So we've proc save you there. Not a great spot to be in, in all honesty. But that really was the, uh, the sort of um, motto of this battle. As I said, I've been um, getting through these absolutely no issue throughout the whole 3v3. There he's got his two stacks of Dark Infusion. I thought, nice. Get it done nice and quickly. I've got 3 minutes 40 left on the clock. Just sail to another. This is just about banner recovery now. So just going basic there. Uh, try and stack off a bit of turn meter. And yet he's still at sort of relatively near full health. Okay, so I thought, right, direct focus will sort that out. I'm hitting for hardly, hardly anything. Again, I've got fear over there. So I kind of want to try and get through that. Heal up here with some attacks out of turn. And I've got a got a chip away. Can't quite I can't quite work this out. Although I probably have. So we're at three stacks of dark infusion here. So we just gotta we just gotta get through it now. But for some reason, I've had a look at the stats, and I think it's just to do with when facing a Darth Malak that's speedy so this one was over 300 this was actually really hard to get through and on reflection i don't think i spammed mm, well i probably spammed as much foresight as i could got healing immunity over there so clear that definitely want to clear that that's bad news I, and i don't want to use jolie for like his revivability anytime that i don't have to that's pretty rough there but i do get a bit of protection back that's good to know but yet still I'm I'm here in the green. Another direct focus. And it's at this point that I'm starting to, to sweat because he's got pretty much full health again. And again, if I knew it had gone like this, I definitely wouldn't have done it. But um but yeah, genuinely I think this is to do with quicker Maleks. I think that they can cause a little bit of a, a problem with 3v3s. Because the others that I'd faced, I'd, I'd, and again, this is only Relic 1. This should not be an issue. I'm coming down to a minute 18, and he's still in the green. So at this point, I'm sort of really starting to sweat. Should have gone probably foresight there because each and every time he's hitting, that was lucky, a dodge there. And now I can sort of get through, but I think I tried to strip his turn meter, but you can see there how much health he's actually recovering. So I think the trick is um, is foresight when facing these. I know it's a day late and a dollar short. But yeah, so we're back in the yellow. I just want to see the end of this guy. Still can't get rid of him. Throw this over. Got to get that foresight out there. I can't afford him to have any more recovery. And we are with 22 seconds left. The dagger was... Uh, the Well, the dagger was thrown. Oof, I was genuinely sweating during that. But I actually got decent banners off it. 53. I'll take that. It's a lot of work for... For 53 banners, you know. I wouldn't like to do that all GAC long. Okay, this one, probably a little bit easier now. I checked the tenacity on the Bosk. Um, wasn't a huge amount, but again, I'm not too worried about tenacity on Bosk. Because Fracture certainly sorts that out for me. Managed to get a 7-10 split there with Boba and Django. We'll do some cooldowns. I think one of them resisted, actually, in all honesty. Probably should have gone Death Mark there. Try and get rid of him quick. And then, apologies about that. Should have gone to um, to silent mode. And here we go. So throw the fracture back over there. And this now is banner recovery mode. Uh, 
Okay, we've got nice days out there as well. Finishing once, wrist rocket. So we've got the death mark up there. Get some banners back. And then this is just about seeing whether I can get another banner back with Death Trooper. And just shy. So 53 from that one. So I'll take that. Apologies about the audio. If it is, um, my, I, honestly, my audio is getting worse. You'd think it would get better as you do more videos. In all honesty, it gets worse and worse. I don't know what to do about it, but hey, -ho, there we go. There's, I mean, thank you for those of you who are watching. You know, you've uh, you've made this channel very fun. You keep me playing this game. I, as I said, quite often, I I don't know why people come back and watch these videos, um, or why there's an interest in it. I I really don't. So this one, uh, going back to the battles, I do want to go completely hard counter here. Damage immunity super quick. So all I can do is kind of get rid of those geos at the moment. And now I've got to, um, I've got to work out how to best deal with Droidica, which I know is fear. He's got five stacks on him there, so he's going to do a huge amount of damage. And luckily I got the ability block. So whew, otherwise that would have been a big one can get the fear here now and i tell you what one fear isn't good enough let's put three stacks of fear there let's go ability block again i can't do anything here save the big hit it's like put shocks up stacking damage and there we go 53 off that one i'll take that that's a, a real banner busting team that one i'm going to come back to phoenix obviously i've got the harder ones up here now So I think I went Skywalker against, I think this is the one. Which one do I go for? Yeah, so I go for 501st in the next one. And I take in a full crew just because I don't really want to sleep. On reflection, I could have um, I could have gone Padme. Uh, I think both work just as well and both output the same amount of banners. But I do like keeping sort of full. I know with the AOEs, I'm going to lose a few banners. Actually really nearly killed. Um, that would have made my life so much easier by killing off Grievous in that first initial thing. That was close, you know. A bit more damage. Try and get some little bit of protection up. That'll just fend off like the AOEs. Now I'm going to eat a couple of uh, eat a couple of hits there. But plenty of protection. I've got about like 130,000 uh, 130, on Skywalker. So I know I can well do that. They're not going to clear any bits of health or anything. Now I'm going to work on his health pool. 20% stacking, taking it off each time I hit. And finish off with a biggie. There we go. So 51, as as good as you'll get against Grievous, unless you've got really good Jedi or Darth Revan with Deathmark and things like that. Uh, this one, obviously I've used Rebels. Otherwise I would use this in, in this spot. So I kind of take in the full Sith uh, complement. I like that any debuffs, they're going to have like much better protection, crit avoidance under trailer leadership. They're going to have much better, not resistance to stuns and debuffs, but they're going to have, they're going to wipe it off each turn. So it's as if they completely negate them. So I actually much prefer this team. Um, Again, there isn't a huge amount of damage here, but I've got to be careful. Okay, so like all of these are going to get wiped. I don't really want to speed them up at all. I do kind of want to get rid of Dooku if I can first. The first one that I want to go for here is Newt. And... But with an Annihilate, I don't want him sort of coming back. And again, that's kind of what what the game plan is here i know i'm gonna eat like get my banners eaten but wherever you take treya quite often she gets banners eaten off her anyway can't really do anything here so just a big hit kind of want to try and get over to dooku as well there's a lot of protection on there so okay and now yeah first things first i want to get rid of new gunray But 
other than that there's not a huge amount of um not a huge amount of worry here i've got like they're going to tank with nihilus in another squad he's not going to be anywhere near as effective um i mean under a trail leadership he 100 percent is at home i know sometimes you've got to mix him up a little bit but let's finish off dooku and just wait for i think a big hit here sorts him out actually yeah it does so yeah happy with that it's as good as i'll get and he's coming back in at this point. He's finished off that Stormtrooper Han. I have no doubt that he's... So, yeah, he makes his Kyber at this point, which is great news. Again, it's always that thing of... I'm always a little bit careful right at the end because, essentially, I've I've already made Kyber and this guy hadn't. So, if it was a case of a win made it or didn't make it, um, again, my play might have been a little bit different. So I think it's more so about being aware of, for me personally, it's being aware of where your opponent is as well. It literally doesn't mean anything to me. It's just pride at this point. But he's got his, um, he's got his Kyber. So happy, like happy days. You can carry on. This one I probably could have just gone Darth Malak. I just didn't know how hard that seven that seven relics ray would hit. And remember having a quick look, not particularly tanky, but again, attackers aren't really that tanky. Obviously, you can stun and things like that. Uh, I'm not worried about the offense on this one. I remember just having a very quick read of the kit to remind myself. And yeah, fought more. He always say, you know, 180 characters is a lot of kits. No one out there remembers all the kits all the times, so, you know. It is just... So I took in these three. Sith Trooper was just like a little bit of extra insurance. The Savage lead is great because it's going to pull extra... Um, like extra defense as well and tenacity. So went straight with that. Yeah, I forgot about Pose Taunt. I knew he sort of reduced everyone's turn meter, but I completely forgot about that. So I put shock on there, so he, he can't, I can't remember whether he cleanses it or not. Now I can sort of go straight in for Scav Ray again. Nice big drain there. She's got more health and she does protection, weirdly. So making the most of that one. And it's been a long time since I've done that move. Let's put it that way. Poe I can just go straight after now and there's and this is the point where I kind of realized well this is completely overkill uh hopefully well, yeah lose the taunt there annoyingly <clears throat> and hopefully we can just get this was the point where I was thinking well, okay well I've lost two banners but I'm I'm like quite far ahead at this point and yeah that annoyed me that he took a banner off <laughs> off there but as I said, I think Malek could have easily soloed that. So it was 50 banners. So I feel that probably lost six banners there. So he's now cleared us. We've got Malevolence on defense, which is a tough ship. I really don't like them. Mine seem to just get like absolutely walked through. But again, mine's five star and mine is my Hyena and Dr. Droid are only six star. So pretty close, about 66 shards on each one. So pretty close to getting them sorted. Uh, didn't feel at this stage I needed to undersize anything. I feel like uh, Nest probably could have done this. Not a huge amount of DPS there. Uh, Nest, I think, could have easily done this solo if I was uh, really pushing for banners. But I just wanted to go for the, the absolute safe win. Otherwise, Nest is the option there. So get this protection up, get some foresight up, try and protect the banners. Or get as much back as I can. Okay, so I'm under that um, protection. And I didn't know that you could get stagger while protection was up, or that might just be Padme, I can't remember. Get a little little hit there, so I think we lose one banner for that. Yeah, no, we didn't. 54, I'll take that. And then we come to ship. So I've got Rebels, and he has got uh, Malevolence. Uh, my rebels are more so there to spam the AOEs. If they save Negotiator for it, they're going to probably walk through it. 
It's a five star, a seven star Vulture, but a six star. So I'm feeling pretty good. Seven star, they get really nasty. The, um, uh, not the Vulture droid, the other droid one, Hyena Bomber. They get really nasty to get through. So DPS is the name of the game. Want to start with Anakin on uh, Anakin and um, Ahsoka on this one. Just to try and get through Vulture Droid first and foremost. As soon as he's gone, well, I, I, I know who I don't have to go through then. Because it can soon get uh, <laughs> a little bit tricky in terms of remembering which Vulture Droid is the actual Vulture Droid that you're going to go for first. So this one comes in, try and get a bit of buff immunity, healing immunity, etc. Nice big stun there, that makes a difference. And these malevolence fights can go, can really go down quickly. They can, um, should have gone with the protect there on. What I was thinking there was, uh, Soka will come back up, I'll just reverse the debuffs and I'll be absolutely fine. And... Who do we bring in now? He's got a spike. Goes straight for there. Bang, 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 bang. Yeesh. That's a bad one. But got rid of a vulture droid, which is nice. They're starting to build up the stacks of um, charge on them at the moment. So feeling a little bit uncomfortable here. Definitely went through. Oh, yeah, that's it. Definitely now protecting them, making sure that they actually stay alive. I've got two ships to kill. Bring in Plo Koon. Make sure I'm, again, I don't really need an extra taunter at the moment. So bring that in. Just make sure I can recover as many banners as possible. Okay, nearly there. And I've just got this Geo ship. Should come out of stealth after that attack. And instead of the ultimate, I've just, I'll have just i just go for all the assists. There we go. So I've got 62 in that one, which is usually about what I get anyway. And he needs 60, he needs 68. So yeah, I think it was 68 he needed for a draw and then 69 for a win. So he really picked up his offense in the second half. So first territory wasn't that efficient, if I remember right. The other two territories, he was very clean. So he we were, we were up by about 10, 12 banners at one point, and he really pulled this back. So now he's in with a, a legit shot of um, of actually getting a win. I, you know, you can get a max of 72 banners. I wouldn't put it past Negotiator to get very, very good banners against Rebels. So let me just switch over. So really, really tight one. And it, once again, it just prove that sort of every banner counts, every little decision you make against a good player. Now, Group did incredibly well to get that score as well, considering there's a five, 600 GP, a thousand GP difference as well. So really, really good player. If you do come up against him in future, do not underestimate it. And he will have a Galactic Legend Ray uh, as well next time we meet. So I'm not looking forward to that. Um, but thank you very much to Groot. Seems a, a solid guy as well. Uh, PM'd him straight after the fight, said great fight, really tough one. And again, I feel like I could have been a little bit more efficient with banners in terms of that Kylo team. Again, taking him first order officer. Malak up top here uh, against that resistance team. Should have sort of gone with it a little bit more. So there was a few more banners there that I could have scraped out. But for me, it was more about one-shotting everything. Uh, didn't expect him to clear absolutely everything in one and very efficiently. So congratulations to Groot as well. Great opponent and had a really fun GAC this time round to finish it off. So that has been uh, 3v3. We went for a total of nine wins and three losses. Uh, one was against Galactic Legend Kylo, which was a loss. That was a Relic 7. Nothing I could have done with that one. And the other two, unfortunately, were like me just playing badly. So, yeah, uh, enjoyed it, though. Like, legit have enjoyed it. Just waiting for the banners to roll in. So yeah, uh, congratulations to Groot as well, making Kyber. That's always good to see. If you have enjoyed the content, please feel free to leave a, um, a like and a subscribe if you're new around here. And it's been great having you. As I said, once again, I don't quite know why you guys come back sort of every grand arena and uh, and come and watch it. Yeah, waiting for the, uh, the win to come in. It should be fairly soon, I'd imagine. 
Um, but that'll take us to 300,000 lifetime banners. So a nice little milestone to reach as well. I've been Moon and I hope you've enjoyed once again. Um, and as I say, if you do want to support the channel, uh, like and subscribe really does help out the channel. And there's a Discord group. I'll put the, uh, if you do want to chat anything Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, I'll put the link in the description below as well. Good luck with all yours going forward. Grand Arena is starting again in uh, only a few days time. I think it's the 7th or the 8th. I can't quite remember. What are we today? Oh no, we're the 8th today. So... I think it's like the 11th. There's really not a long turnaround with this one or a break. There's not like a, a normal. So look out for that as well. Uh, and I will see you. I think it's 5v5. I can't quite remember. Don't quote me on it. Um, but yeah, nice to have a bit of a break from 3v3. Great novelty. Really like it. But I think twice a year <laughs> is enough for me. So I've thoroughly enjoyed. I've been Moon. See you next time. Cheers, guys.